to the deepest secrets of different bills Hey, don't go me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot of threat You keep the medals cause the red one's coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Denny. And today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m daily double uploads and you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing all right now let's get straight into this video so today my nephews and nieces we have an extremely rare build called the skilled paint defender this is the first time this is being introduced to nba 2k 22 current gen and we have to once again give a shout out to one of our nephews again we're going to give a shout out to lord eli yt this is the second time he has been on the channel and i tell you over and over again if you have a rare build that you think could be used on my channel make sure you hit me up on discord the link is in the description you can also try to hit me up on instagram and twitter but those are really pretty much flooded so it's just a lot of like craziness going on on my dms on that side but in discord it's a little bit more organized so if you join my discord you can read the instructions it'll tell you exactly what you need to do and i will almost 99 percent of the time be able to reach back out to you so again shout out to lord eli yt and let's get into this video so we're gonna go power forward with this we're gonna go the pie chart that we're gonna go with is gonna be with the most seen finishing and a little bit of defensive pie chart so we're going here and then we got to actually go with this one the strength and the speed this is what you have to go with you cannot go with any other pie chart you have to go strength and speed to get this it's pretty crazy this year pie charts physical pie charts have a lot to do with names so for the longest trying to figure out how to get these really rare build names then it started to be like wow actually pie charts physical pie charts has a lot to do with the names more than any other 2k i've seen thus far so you want to go with that pie chart then what we're going to do here is max out our driving layup our driving dunk and go 65 on our standing dunk to get exactly 12 finishing badges then we're going to go ahead and max out our mid-range our three-point shot our free throw and then we're going to go 56 on on the post fade for four badge upgrades then we're going to max everything else out here that's going to give us 14 playmaking badge upgrades then we're going to max out our interior defense our lateral quickness and then we're going to use a block our offensive and defensive rebound so what you're looking at is 12 4 14 22 not a bad badge lineup at all okay now there is a couple things that you could do if you wanted to if you don't want that many playmaking you can take away your post control you can add it to your um perimeter defense and you know that type of deal but to me just for the the fact that i know that this is going to be a dribbling build you do need to have as much playmaking as you possibly can it's going to work out a lot for you we even have some four shooting batches here which is going to be really good for like the catch and shoot situations and then obviously we cannot put anything on a close shot and 65 is the highest you can go on your standing dunk if you touch these two here you will get the skilled interior force you will not get the skilled paint defender so that's the reason why we have it like this okay um and of course shooting is not a requirement so if you want to keep your playmaking and then you want to take some of your shooting all the way off and max out your perimeter and your steel you could do that also but um i decided to get a little bit of shooting in this but you do not have to have shooting you can take away all of the shooting max out your perimeter and your steel and then you can put some in your post hook but don't touch standing down close shot you can put the rest in post hook if you wanted to okay so those are a couple of the options that you could do um with this build right um body type you want to go ex compact because you're going to be going six seven and go all the way up to 275 so you want to try to be as skinny as possible because we add all that weight it doesn't look that bad and then here what you have to do is go get your wingspan all the way down to 79 okay so you have to go all the way down to 79 so now let's talk about a few things here you do get a plus eight to your physicals right from 2k 22 current gen you get a plus eight you get a plus four from 95 to 99 overall so we hit 99 overall you will get a plus four then you get the additional plus four by doing either of these three things either a become a starter in my career sim out the rest of the season play every playoff game win the championship you get the gym rep badge okay b just go to the park go into the gatorade facility talk to the guy at the entrance he'll give you a quest he'll just say hit level 40 in season one and you get the gym rat badge 
or C, which a lot of people do, or what you're going to do until you hit level 40 or if you do the my career stuff, is every seven days, you get a plus four on the workouts and you get it like that. So now check out these ridiculous numbers. You're getting 85 speed with this, okay? An 84 acceleration, a 74 vert, and a 99 strength, okay? So this is going to be a stocky, like bruising type guard uh, slash power forward, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going to be pretty unique um and then on the finishing shooting playmaking defense rebound you do get a plus four here so you do get the 95 driving dunk which allow you to get all the elite contact elite contact dunk animations you also have a 71 mid-range and you will have a really good 61 three ball so you're actually gonna be able to do it really um shoot really well um in the mid-range in the corners on the threes because all you gotta do is just get catch and shoot and you're gonna spark pretty well and then on the playmaking side, you get a 77 pass accuracy, ball handle, and post control. Now, keep in mind, all you need is a 75 ball handle to be able to get all the pro dribble animations. So you're going to be able to dribble really well. You better get Damian Lillard, um, Luka Doncic. You'll be able to get like um, Kawhi Leonard dribbles. You'll be able to get Jimmy Butler's dribbles, LeBron James. So you get a lot of good dribble packages um, just by getting 75. So this build is not like it was in 2K21 current gen where you had to have an 80. You can get a 75 and be good. So that's another good thing about this game. You don't have to have a high ball handle to be able to get some dribble packages that can actually make you competitive. Then on the defensive side, you get an 81 interior defense, a ridiculous 86 lateral quickness, 69 blocks, 74 offensive rebound, and a 76 defensive rebound, okay? Now, when it comes to takeovers, you have a pretty decent amount, but if you're going to be a primary ball handler, I, I definitely recommend going slash and take. Um, if you're somebody that wants to play more in the paint and that type of deal, then go six with the glass cleaner, but we're going slash and take. And then here you have my nephews and nieces for the first time, you are going to be able to see a skilled paint defender, okay? So now what we're going to do is this, we're going to test this build out real quick, we're going to get 99, and of course we're going to get you out of here, okay? So let's go here, let's go to 99, boom. Um, on the finishing side, you know the big ones, man, posterizer, fearless finisher, those are the ones you want to have off rip. And then everything else you want to try to go, let's just get here. Um, and then rise, nah, let's not do rise up. Let's just go, baby, let's go Slithery All Out. I think that'd be good enough. So we're gonna go all out like this, man. Post Riser, Fearless, and Slithery Hall of Fame badges. And then here, again, like we spoke about, um, you wanna get Catch and Shoot, and then Sniper on Bronze. That should be good enough, right? Sniper's a really OP badge, so you just wanna be able to get it like there. And then on the playmaking side, Quick Chain on Bronze, Quick First Step, you wanna have that. Um, where you at bullet passer you want to have that you want to have unpluckable um you want to have bailout and then there's okay so th so basically i like the triple threat juke but I, I like hyperdrive better but triple threat um triple threat juke is a really good one also maybe we can go like that but i love triple threat juke if you stay in the triple threat if you don't know about it as you see speeds up triple threat moves when you're trying to blow by the um defender raising likelihood of freezing your opponent so i think that's a really good one i like it so i'll probably go something like this and then here um obviously intimidator you want to have chase down you want to have rim protector you want to have rebound chaser now if you i don't recommend playing on ball i recommend just playing like as a center um so that's the reason why i think that you know you don't need to be having these crazy badges um as far as on ball but pogo sticks another good one and then um you can go ahead and throw in i like throwing silver clamps just brought well let's go silver clamps just in case on the, on the hedging and then um pickpocket right um actually no, not pickpocket um let's go interceptor yeah let's go interceptor like that all right but there you have it, my nephews and nieces this is the skill paint defender Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. And you know, when I say i back soon with the banger, you know exactly what damn I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. Hmm. If he come for a low, we gon' get to him. Take the stop out the top of no transform. I'm in my ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a beat like a mighty muffler. Tell myself to get rich and go ahead.